Welcome back to the Maker Show. My name is Jeff Krepke, and today we're going to go over some uh, another three uh, Fusion uh, 360 video. Uh, this time it's going to be on how to uh, uh, bring in models and um, uh, manipulate them in uh, Fusion 360. Now, um, if you have uh, certain kind of bodies in the uh, in the design that you import. Uh, you can't uh, move them or manipulate them in, in uh, Fusion 360. You can kind of de-destruct them, uh, destruct them, and, and move individual parts, but uh, it's really almost impossible uh, if it's not the correct type of model to uh, uh, do that. So uh, what we're going to do is just gonna, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to Google. And we're gonna do a uh, go to a website that I uh, like. It's called uh, 3D Warehouse, and uh, this is a good one. It it they do designs for SketchUp, but uh, you can use I would say probably at least 50% of the uh, designs in here. Uh, so we're gonna go look. Uh, uh, for uh, let's look for toilets since we're on kind of a building theme here so we're going to click on toilets okay and then I've uh, I've used this uh, program quite a bit and uh, these ones that say uh, K on them um, are Kohler products and uh, uh, seems like they all pretty much work here. So you can see this is a, a K19796. So what we're going to do is we're going to download it. And I usually pick the 2014 file and then it's downloaded right there as a skip file. Uh, and an SKP, that's what goes into SketchUp. And we're going to open this which is our uh, building building blocks here and uh, that was a toilet so that will be plumbing so let's go into plumbing and then we go up to here where it says upload and we click on upload and we can select the file or we can drag and drop over Okay, that must have been it. So uh, double click on it, it adds the name, the type, the size, and then you click on upload. And we can see it see it loading in right there. Okay, so now it's complete. So we can go ahead and close this window. And then for some reason they're always laid over on their side. And this is just going to be a a dummy file here, so we can uh, manipulate the manipulate the design. So we got our uh, dummy file opened up that we can test this uh, uh, this uh, toilet model out in. So we're going to find that toilet again, which is under. So we're just going to click on it and then drag it over. And this uh, over here is going to be your house plan, something like that. Something you're adding components to. And you can see you have your controls. Now if this doesn't move, or if it doesn't move as a single unit, then it's basically you, you're not going to be able to use that model straight away. Um, and you can see that it obviously moves back and forth and up and down. So you got this one working correctly. Um, if you come in here and you can actually open this up and then open this up and you can see there's different 
um, doing that, I was, I'm actually turning on and off features in that drawing. So when you import them, you still do have some uh, some control over the uh, the objects in the model. So it's not like it's a, a static model at that point. So. Um, and that's a quick way to import something from um, uh, 3D Warehouse and get it into f your Fusion 360 uh, uh, drawing. So I hope you enjoyed that. And please uh, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks a lot. Bye.